Can a MacBook Air run Final Cut Pro? What kind of computer do you need to edit videos? How much RAM should I get? If you're asking yourself these questions, you're in the right spot. I'll show you what you need to run Final Cut Pro, and I'll share three hardware suggestions to get you up and running. At the end, I'll show you how you can test out Final Cut Pro on your MacBook Air before shelling out $300. So what does Final Cut Pro need? I'm here on the Final Cut Pro specifications website, and don't worry, I'll link to this in the description below. Final Cut Pro needs Mac OS 12.6 or later, four gigabytes of RAM, or eight gigabytes of RAM if you're gonna do like 4K video editing, 360 degree video, or 3D titles, that kind of stuff. It also needs a special graphics card. Most of the graphics cards that come with the MacBook Air built in are fine. You also need at least one gigabyte of video RAM. That's a good start. I recommend more and I'll go over that in more detail in a little bit. You also need at least five and a half gigabytes of space to install the app itself. So how does that stack up to a MacBook Air? Will MacBook Air live up to the legacy? Let's check it out. All right, here is the MacBook Air page on Apple's website. They just released this new one with the M2 chip. So not a lot of people have those out yet, but let's take a look at an older MacBook Air. This one right here, the 13 inch with the M1 chip. All right, so here's the M1 and the processor is fine. That'll work fine. You can do up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we're good there because they recommend at least four gigabytes. And then the hard drive, you can go up to two terabytes. And so that, plenty of space for the app itself. If we click down here on compare Mac models and then scroll down, we can get a little more information. Check out the information here on the media engine. It can handle things like ProRes, ProRes RAW, and it can also do video encoding and decoding. And it also has hardware accelerated for these codecs. So this is all standard stuff that uh, Final Cut Pro needs and the MacBook Airs have it. You can see all three of them have it. So we're good here with the graphics card and the, the video RAM. All right, so let's take a look at this. Let's buy one of these. We'll click on buy. Let's go with the M1 chip and let's select this. And now let's customize it a little bit. It comes with eight gigs of RAM, so that's good. 256 solid state drive for storage. That's a good start. But look at this, I wanna go down here, pre-installed software. Look what I can choose, Final Cut Pro. So Apple even says, you can use this on here. Why don't you install it? So yes, Final Cut Pro will work with a MacBook Air. All right, so I have some suggestions if you wanna get into video editing. I've been editing for over a decade, so I've got some good suggestions on how to get into video editing and what I recommend you use. If you're just getting started, I think eight gigabytes of RAM is perfect. It meets their four gigabytes of RAM minimum, but it gives you some room to grow. If you find that you like editing and you wanna do more, then you have room to grow. Now, if you do regular video editing, I recommend at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And then if you do video editing for a living, get 32 gigabytes of RAM. It'll future-proof you and it will give you plenty of space to grow. For storage, I think 256 is pretty small. I like to jump up here to one terabyte of storage. That's plenty of space for me to put my video files and edit on and work. And then when I'm done, I can move them off onto an external hard drive and I still have plenty of space on my hard drive to edit. Time out, are you excited to get Final Cut Pro on your MacBook Air? If this video has been helpful, will you please let me know by giving it a thumbs up? Thank you. Coming up in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to test out Final Cut Pro, but first I wanna show you an option to buy it for even cheaper than the normal price. Okay, when you're ready to buy Final Cut Pro, take a look at the education bundle here. If you're a teacher or a student or in the education industry, you can probably get this bundle. You get Final Cut Pro, which we know is video editing software. You get Logic Pro, that's audio editing software. You get Apple Motion, that is motion graphics software, similar to After Effects and you get Compressor, which works with Final Cut Pro to share and code and compress your videos. And then you get MainStage, which is live performance software. All of these apps for just $200. And don't worry, I'll put a link to this bundle in the description below so you can check it out. Now, if you're still not sure if Final Cut Pro will work with your MacBook Air, test it out first. Apple has a free trial that you can test before you buy. It's the whole app for 90 days. There are no restrictions, there's nothing wrong with it. And I'll link to this page in the description. All you have to do is download it and then install it and you can use it for free for 90 days. Okay, once you're ready to get Final Cut Pro on your MacBook Air, you need to watch this next video. So many people have problems with the magnetic timeline. It throws them for a loop, even though it's really powerful. So I put together a video and I show you eight tools to make the most of the magnetic timeline. Click here to check it out.